So today we are going to see the example on theories of failure first part and this is the description of the given problem that we are going to solve today. So welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Engineering Management. So before starting the problem some of the important formulae that you should remember. So for the principal stresses there are two principal stresses sigma 1 that is a major principal stress and sigma 2 is the minor principal stress. So sigma 1 that is the major principal stress and sigma 2 that is the minor principal stress. So that you have to remember. So here only the change is what plus and minus sign. This is a major principal stress and that's why it should be add and here it is the minor principal stress that's why it should be minus because of you know that sigma 1 is greater than sigma 2 and sigma x sigma y are the stresses in x direction and y direction and tau that is the shear stress and this tau max is the maximum shear stress in case of biaxial or triaxial stress and that is exactly equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 or it is the second part of the sigma 1 and sigma 2. So that you have to remember. So now let's start from the description of the problem. So the load on a bolt consists of an axial pull of 25 kN together with a transverse shear force of 10 kN find the diameter of the bolt required according to maximum principal stress theory, maximum shear stress theory and maximum distortion energy theory. Take permissible tensile stress at elastic limit as 120 megapascal. So first of all given data. So that is given to you the bolt consists of an axial pull that means the tensile force. So you can say it is tensile force 25 kN together with a transverse shear force. So I can say it is a PS shear force that is 10 kN. Find the diameter of the bolt that means D is the question mark. That means diameter of bolt that is my objective. According to maximum principal stress, according to maximum shear stress and according to maximum distortion energy theory. Take permissible tensile stress at elastic limit is 120 megapascal. So this is what we can say SYT. And you know that megapascal that is what Newton per mm square. So you know that stress is equal to load upon area. And here this is axial load. So you can say the stress produced in the x direction is equal to load upon area and load is given to you as 25 kN. So I can put it over here. So PT is 25 kN that means 10 raised to 3 upon area. So you know that the cross section area of the bolt is circle and so that it is pi by 4 d square. So if you simplify this equation then you will get sigma x that is in terms of d square. Similarly stress is equal to load upon area but this is the shear force and that's why it is the shear stress tau. So PS is given to you as 10 kN. So I can put it over here 10 kN that means 10 raised to 3. Once again shear area that is pi by 4 d square for the bolt. So if you simplify over here then you will get tau in terms of d square. So once you got this sigma x and tau that means the stress in x direction and shear stress then I can find the maximum principal stress and minor principal stress. So let's start from the first maximum principal stress. So as we have discussed this is the formula for the maximum principal stress. So here sigma y is 0 because of in the description the load that is not given to you in the y direction and so that the stress in the y direction is 0. So if you put it sigma y is equal to 0 so your sigma 1 is only sigma x by 2 plus square root of sigma x by 2 whole square plus tau square. 
so now i can put the value of sigma x and tau in this equation we have sigma x and tau so put this value both in this equation so i can say sigma 1 is as it is equal to sigma x by 2 so sigma x is this one by 2 as it is plus sigma x by 2 plus tau square so i have used intentionally the different color because of that 2 is as it is only we have put sigma x with the blue color so you can understand easily so if you simplify this whole equation then you will get sigma 1 in terms of diameter so you will get this one similarly i can find minor principal stress now so minor principal stress that is sigma 2 only the sign is changed over here it is now minus so already we have discussed it and so that your sigma 2 is this one because of here sigma y and sigma y is 0 now we have sigma x and tau as we have discussed in earlier case of maximum principal stress so put this value over here in sigma 2 that is sigma x and tau so if you simplify this equation then you will get sigma 2 that means minor principal stress in terms of diameter of the bolt so here it is in negative value so now look at this description so now i can find the diameter of the bolt according to maximum principal stress theory so according to maximum principal stress theory as we have discussed in earlier videos of the theories of failure that sigma 1 is equal to sy or su upon nf so that is the statement of the maximum principal stress theory so here nf that means factor of safety that is not given to you in your description so you can assume as 1 so sigma 1 is this one so i can put it over here is equal to sy that is also given to you in your description that is sometimes known as syt so that is given to you in your description 120 and if we have assume 1 so if you simplify over here then you will get diameter of the bolt so it is 17.39 so approximately you can say it is 18 mm so that is your first answer diameter of bolt according to maximum principal stress theory so make a box now next according to maximum shear stress theory so you know that the statement of the maximum shear stress theory that tau max is exactly equal to sy by 2 but for that you have to find the tau max and as we have discussed that maximum shear stress tau max is equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 and already you have sigma 1 and sigma 2 and maximum shear stress is directly not given to in your description but it is given to as tensile stress and majority of the metal maximum shear stress is half of the tensile stress so i can say tau max is half of this tensile stress so it is 120 by 2 is equal to sigma 1 that is this one minus as it is sigma 2 that is this one divided by 2 so this is minus minus plus and so that you will get the diameter and that is 18.42 and so that nearly equal to you can say 19 mm so this is your second answer according to maximum shear stress theory so make a box now third one according to maximum distortion energy theory so this is the statement of the maximum distortion energy theory so we have sigma 1 we have sigma 2 we have syt also 120 so now i can put it over here in this equation so sigma 1 whole square that means this one whole square minus as it is sigma 1 into sigma 2 so this is sigma 1 and sigma 2 plus sigma 2 whole square that is equal to syt that is given to in your description as 120 divided by nf 
factor of safety that is not given to you so you can assume as 1 but once again keep in mind that minus minus will be plus over here and that is exactly equal to 120 so already we have discussed up to here in the earlier slide now if you simplify on this side then you will get this one is equal to 120 as it is so if you simplify this equation then you will get diameter of the bolt and that is 18.43 and that is nearly equal to 19 mm so this is your third answer according to maximum distortion energy theory so make a box so now you can summarize over here this is your description and these are the objective so first one according to maximum principal stress theory this is the diameter according to maximum shear stress theory this is the diameter and according to maximum distortion energy theory this is the diameter so thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video